Yes. And then we hear if we earn our way by sharing, um, trying to share with others a way to test for themselves by singing this new you song before we go to bed for like 15 minutes and when we wake up in the morning and and trying to get real guidance and a real education um is it still all for our selfish selves so that we don't have to be in these realms psych realms anymore or is it just something that we need to experience to have a comparison of of how it isn't in the real universes compared to how it is here in these psych realms? In a sense, there is no why. Just why, because it's just an isness. So, and then... And also with the reptilian, why why are they like that? Well, just that that's just their nature. There's no why in a way. It's just that's the way it is. Some things are just the way they are, and why can be both you know positive and negative. I mean, as a child, yeah, you're curious. So you ask why, why this, why that. And then if you're a Native American, then they kind of steer you into you know if you're growing up with an Indians, you know, then it's more along lines of survival. Why this? Why that? You know, why they make sense of what the why the the innate curiosity the child has. But here in our society, why? Well, the authority will tell you why. You know, the the school education will tell you why. Science will tell you why. Religion will tell you why. We will tell you why. You you don't. You have no answers for yourself. You're not able to answer it for yourself. We will answer it for you. So it gets really distorted. Whereas the Native Americans, they're more like, it's more in, they just go along with their intuition and nature and they pick it up. There's almost no no reason to ask why, although you can use it. I remember in tracking school and Tom Brown, junior tracker fellow um he used to well he used to say that apaches used to ask why 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 is this stick turned up you know why is that ant walking the way it's walking why is it walking east and not west you ask all these questions in nature about you're always questioning things and that will help you become more aware so in that respect it helps you know, to become more aware and then possibly recognize certain things. But in our society, why is used against you? It's just because uh, somebody's going to tell you why, and <laughs> you know, somebody else is going to tell you. We don't have the answers, sir. Psychology, you know, that's a big. Why am I acting like? Why am I feeling this way? Why am I? depressed or why am I uh, ADD, you know? Well, they make all this stuff up because everything already is distorted, so they just work around the distortion and make up these terms and these conditions and then they give you drugs and, you know, they have control. It's a way of controlling people. So, where we're at. If, If somebody was listening to us right now and they would have that question why like why is Dwayne saying the things that he does what is the um, you call it reason what what makes sense why would he do that why would he say these things so we just say well He's had the real experiences, um, claiming to have been to this real universes called the is, 
um, and that he didn't have to come back. It was a voluntary effort on his part for a reason, I I guess you could call it. Um, that would be the question, is, is what what is being presented? These so hints. That it's a natural process of things. That the isness, if you want to say anything about it, it the idea is that it wants to become more aware of itself. So it's just part of the process. You you um, you share what you your experiences and what you found. So it's part of waking up, and it just makes sense. Is is that like how you see Dwayne as um, becoming more aware of himself? I was just saying, is that how you see Dwayne as becoming more aware of himself? Yeah, it's it's all it's all included. Every everything is becoming aware of itself, and we're just kind of individual views of that. We we take on certain positions, but everything is becoming more aware, and there's better references than others. So the real guides have the best better references because they're they are the purity. You know, they're they have this, the, the sincerity. Um, They've asked why in the past. <laughs> now they don't have to ask anymore. They just do it, and they're just doing it. It's just a matter of doing it. Um, you kind of let go of the the questions because it's a mental it's a mental exercise. So you just do with the right intent behind it, and and then and you see how life works or how it's how it processes itself. It just goes on and on and on and becoming more aware of itself. So it's really cool. So Dwayne too now these re- and he's, Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Now these reptilians becoming more aware of themselves are part of the is as part of everything. Um it's like, what are they becoming aware of themselves? That they enjoy certain things? Is that their awareness that by um, causing suffering for others, they thrive, um, enjoy, or whatever it is, the reasons why they do these brutalitarian things to others? Well, yeah, I'd say they're aware of that, but it's ideas aware of what you're not aware of. Uh, going to the unknown, taking the risk, and that's where the reality, the realness lies, is becoming aware of what you're not aware of, and then being aware of that, and then just keep going with that. Um, most of us are aware of our personal self and its idiosyncrasies and uh, you know, inadequacies and all that, but it's becoming aware of what we're not aware of. What are we not aware of? It's the bigger yeah. picture. Yeah, that's Most what seems to be go going on on, <laughs> on the earth. Is that, um, is there a reason why anybody would want to become more aware? What would be the cause to make a being want to become more aware instead of just continuing to be the being um, doing what it it does as the same as it always does? It eats and it sleeps and things like this. It's just the all the experiences that all the beings are going through in these psych realms. Are and what they do are the causes that um, they'll get to experience the effects from the causes 
they do. So I guess it's that's how started. we become more aware <laughs> is by yeah. experiencing um, cause and effect here in the psych realms. Yeah. At least about the psych realm stuff. I think also part of his boredom. I mean, you you get you be, we've been here so many times. There's got to be something more. So you either go the way of the controllers and start torturing people and taking pleasure and making people uncomfortable and sacrifices and all that, or or you go the way of really sincerely being sincerely wanting to know more in a in a more of a real way, you know, and not a distorted way. So you you're bored so you have two 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 choices, you know. Some people are the truth seekers, you know, they want to be good people and they do the best they can. Other people are bored and they go they start you know, take doing killing people and stealing money and you know that things like that so there's always a choice we have free will yeah and a child's free will um when they're pure and real is um is the free will the intention what we intend to do Anyway, oh, I was wondering if there was anybody that um, wanted to call in or um, ask any questions or have something they'd like to say. Kind of Tim, I think it's just um, you and I this to, you and I tonight today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's yeah, hard telling, yeah. you know, if it's somebody in the future or I guess. Um, oh yeah, sure. Put up that um, they'll be. Something that they might be presented with, if it's time or whatever it's called, if the real guides um, give them the opportunity to to see if this new presentation is something that's important for them to try and experience to um, see what the results are uh, for themselves by singing the new you. Song and sincerely wanting real guidance and a real education. And uh, this stuff that um, a person gets involved with the new presentation um, as a new student and the um, appreciation for the opportunity to test it for themselves, to find out for themselves what's true to themselves that um, is being presented and the hints that are being given to get to this um, is this real universe is being a, a free being of real light. Because it looks like the vast majority still um, on the earth seems to be doing by the millions the same thing that has been going on so much um, of this lifetime. All the vehicles and not caring about the pollution it's creating. Um, I'm surprised that our air has lasted as long as it has with all the things that have been put into it and done to it and our waters and and our food. Everybody's all running around like crazy all over the place. It's mainly getting the money for material things and and for their for the physical pleasures and so maybe at this time it's it seems like it's only for the certain few that the real guides know um, are ready to be given an opportunity to 
find real guidance and a real education to to not have to come back and go through this these experiences in the psych realms anymore. Yeah, I guess that um, it's been an interesting talk, and I guess we've about talked for an hour or so, so unless there's something else you'd like to mention to everybody, Val, we'll just end our blog talk show for today. No, thanks, Tim. This will be this will be on Kelsey Lynn Brown Blog Talk Radio. It'll be um recorded. You can go back and listen to it as well as other shows. So somebody sometime may get something out of this and uh start waking up to more. So thanks for yeah, great. the show, Tim. Yeah, thanks, pal. Good talking with you. We'll talk soon. Okay. Bye-bye. Do you...